We're going to run through the virtual cat circuit now. We start with power. VCC is power. Here, marked in red. And this will be our power line coming into the circuit there. And that will go down this track and connect to pin 8 of the 555 timer here. There's pin 8 just in that top left hand corner there. So on our schematic, that line connects to pin 8. The ground, this is a ground symbol, will connect to pin 1. And our ground will be connected here, travel down this line and connect to pin 1 of the 555 timer, which is the bottom left corner there. On the schematic, that will be this connection here. Pin 4, which is the bottom right connection there, also connects to power. Like so. And we can see this red wire joins from 4 over to pin 8 there. Pin 7 is joined through some type of resistance, in this case an LDR, to power. So on our circuit we see this lead here connects into pin 7. It joins up to our LDR on this track. The other pin of the LDR joins down to pin 8, like so. Exactly the same thing happens between pins 6 and 7, like this. Here, we come out of pin 7 on this lead, we go to the LDR and join on the same track. The other pin in the LDR comes back to pin 6. So 7, LDR, 6. And we also note on the schematic that pins 2 and 6 are joined together. We have a purple wire doing that here. So if I pull these apart a little, we can just see pin 2 being joined round to pin 6 there. Finally for this part of the schematic we have the capacitor which joins from pin 2, it could be pin 6 as well but in this case it's pin 2 and it goes down to ground. So we simply have a capacitor here that joins between pins 1 and 2 here, there's our capacitor there. The only thing we've got to be sure of, because it's electrolytic, pin 1 is ground, so the negative sign must be connected to ground there. Finally, on the output, we're going to go to a speaker. Before we do, we go to a capacitor here. Once again, it's electrolytic. The positive is connected to pin 3. So the negative side, which will be the other side, will have a white band there, I'll just join that up a little. I'll have a white band there. And when we connect that to a speaker, two lead, there'll be two leads from the speaker. One will be positive, one will be negative. The positive goes to the capacitor, like so, and the negative goes to ground, like that. And that's the connections required for the, the circuit, that's what you need to do in order to make it.